Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to do a Tliamid guide. We're going, we're going to be in flex, but it's against full diamond, so it's not like it's silver. And we will do solo queue as well. I'm just waiting for the actual updated um, Tlia buffs, which we will talk about in a second. But let me just turn down the volume a bit from here and from my laptop. Yeah. Alright, today we're going to do a Talia guide, that's one on mid against Vladimir with teleport and phase rush, which has no kill pressure practically. We're going to discuss builds and rules, and we're going to also discuss the buffs that Talia is about to receive. I do not have a PBE account, so that's why I'm just focusing on the talk and not show, show and tell. So today we're playing with Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunt, Time Warp, Tonic and Futures Market with these runes, that's attack speed for farming easier. Playing with Adorance Ring but Corrupting also works and going for the Ludens and Sork Shoes and after that probably Rabadons. This is what I play in solo queue as well. Generally I like this setup because this rune Time Warp Tonic keeps you alive with your potion. Futures Market helps you with the earlier buys on items and it's a pretty good combo combined, it also works with corrupting. If you go for corrupting and something like a a Doran's ring when you have like 200 gold because you have the futures market then you will have corrupting and Doran's very early and that's an insane spike on Talia. So uh, he's playing with two refillables but he's Vlad, he has teleport. I do not understand the teleport on Vlad, I believe he could actually easily kill me at level 6. Good Vladimir's would try to do that. I think we have... Do we? We might have... Yeah, he made level 2 first because Irelia actually put herself into the corner. So he's gonna auto attack. Do an E and he's going to heal up. Okay, we're against an Echo and we have a kill somehow on bot against Samira in Pike. I'm not sure how they lose that. I would guess they shouldn't. Out attack, out attack, Q. So we talked about items a bit, which would be Ludens into uh, Sorcerers into Ludens into Vision Words into Rabadons into maybe a Stopwatch Zonia. Yeah. We talked about runes. Uh, generally, uh, these are the builds that you could use. Let's talk about a bit the buff. And I should also go and word, I'm seeing Echo. Now, Viego should win that, certainly. But, man, I'm out. If uh, Renekton comes first, then we do not have any chance there. I tried, he fought, but he didn't back off in time. I missed the... I didn't do full combo because he would obviously flash, it would have been pointless, I would have no mana now. If he wouldn't flash then that means he would be just bad, but that's not quality gameplay. If this guy dies however here then that's quite bad. I mean, this guy is quite running it at this point. Yes we see brother that you're lost. Try a W. That's just bad trades, uh, but we will work on. The main thing, the main focus of the video, however, is uh, the buffs that Talia is about to receive. Practically, she receives uh, two, two smaller buffs, one bigger, something along the lines of Q. Uh, practically, you get reduced cooldown on work ground, half of it. You get a smaller circle on the work ground, which is the insane part of the buff, and you also get, what do you get, I remember something, you also get reduced cooldown on the work ground, that was the last thing, now, I believe these things are insanely good more for the lane Talia players, such as mid, and actually bot, even support, but that, eh. And that could actually be the change that we want to see because I believe this is a not toxic, a non toxic change that could definitely work finally. Because you will see a lot of times these kind of buffs that make her very strong. I have to go back and top lane are running it, bot lane running it. Well, bot lane tries at least because they have kills, but this guy, I'm not sure what he does. Is 0-3 and he also into there. Uh, 
practically what you will be able to do is cast a lot more Qs and this is a good buff strictly because it's like a sort of Cassiopeia scenario well she has damage she has a lot of damage but she does not have the mana to cast it they're the same practically if Tulia does two full combos then she would practically be out of mana so it doesn't matter if she gets uh, that much it doesn't it's not that toxic if you buff the circle size Do I get the kill? Yep, he flashed, he misflashed. Uh, practically, he didn't. He shouldn't have got hit by that, obviously. And I push it in and go back. So, the buff again. Renekton will win 2 versus 1. This one, don't even think about it. Don't. You will lose. No, don't. That's so stupid. If, if they lose 2 versus 1, I'm gonna laugh. Did I just wrote that or not? Well, I just predicted that they're about to die and they died. So, really, this isn't much to do there. I could actually go there and try. I don't have time. I want that huge shutdown. I'm probably the only one who can get a kill on that. If I jump on him and do the full combo, well, I still think that he's not high elo enough to understand what to do. I didn't ping the. Um. Well, I don't care if I die here. I got the shutdown. I did it messy, but it did work. It it worked. So. Xamira got killed, I got killed, this is worth, even though I did not ping, if he dies as well, mm, yeah, you're level 5 in ganking, man, this is weird for a Viego, I don't think he knows what he has to do, so the point about the buffs is that if you buff uh, something that uh, makes Talia cast more Qs without reducing the mana cost, you are just temporarily doing changes you're doing quality of life buffs and not hard buffs like increasing damage or reducing mana costs. So that's all in all an insanely good change that we want to see. And I agree, I completely agree with that. I like the direction, I hope it will not break her into the jungle where she is in her main role. Uh, this isn't something that I should follow. There is a pike. You're still level five, man. So for some reason, I get the, I get that. No, I have this word here. Yeah, there is a pike. I wanted the plate. The sorry, the harvest stack. Got it. So I did my part there. He's 100% getting dived. Ah, can I get there? Can I get there before he dies? Well, I have everything, but he's level 9 and he will also get the tower before I get there, which is bad. If I hit this, he's dead. Yeah, I got the level from that. I hope for the sake of God, he doesn't Bro, go mid. Why you don't go mid? Go mid. What? This is the wonders of flex. He just realized. I think he all tapped for the sake of it. Holy moly, Vladimir got two entire plays because this guy was sleeping. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to play with him, but at least at least we cancelled the bit the Renekton. I'm the same level as him, so I could probably carry it. Uh, I have this ult, I have two vision words. So what I predict is that Lia mid and bot win rate will increase a bit, but again I don't think it will attract necessarily OTPs. So uh good change for OTPs and overall 
mech for the global population we need to change stylistically stuff that would make her work i suppose that's amazing good job this bot is good so if you play around this don't ping me going there i have absolutely no chance of dealing with renekton alone so if this guy goes here he doesn't die easily because he plays with the phage so uh even if he gets sort of dived it's good because we will get the kill onto the renekton just bait him bait him bait him in Oh, yeah, right. If I get hit by that, there, nah. I didn't flash it in time. Completely my bad, but at least he got out and we didn't lose much. Uh, he doesn't scale that well. Who scales well in their team is the Vladimir. And the main problem is that he really might lose and die to this guy as well. So be careful. In our team, Ezreal scales excellent Viego as well. But again, I inted there, which I shouldn't. So that cost us. If I want to win this... Uh, I should just stop in thing and bot lane winning that's amazing yeah it's not a renekton teleport it's a vlad so that's good gonna do the full combo here if he comes i'm flashing away and going for the throat and i suppose what that's a teleport from Renekton, for some reason. Now, Echo might 1 versus 1 me as well if he does it properly, if I cast my combo before. As you can see right now, I'm trying to get to the tower. Yeah, there is an Echo. He will come straight for that. I think I can fight him, because I am fed enough. I can flash the... I can flash... No, he's mid, okay. Okay, if he's mid... That means I can get some plates. I cannot really help them. I suspected that. And yeah, bot lane should have gone mid. If if he dies here, then it's worth. I'd like to lose the inhibitor on mid, actually. I don't know why I didn't recall. If we lose the inhib on mid, then we have an open an open way of uh, farming. If Irelia dies here, then she's just bad. We got the kill on that, that's worth. No, don't, 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 let her, let, let them take him here, it's worth for us, yes, let them take him here, don't stop it, it's called in here trading, but this guy doesn't know, it's good for us. Why do I have to explain basic stuff to diamond players? Because this guy is diamond. Yes, you got it. Congrats. No, you cannot. And as well, I'm ahead. Stop making decisions. See, that's how you generally try to play around this because we might be able to know more about the game than them and I can go here okay. we win this we win this Right, if we get the kill onto that too. Ah uh, no, this is a problem. This is gonna stop us. Let, let actually him taking hit. No, let him, let him. That's, that was actually flash for flash, so it ain't that bad. If it's bad if they die one versus three. Just don't. We got the Drake, let them take in him, let them. Really has still int. And Nami 
Nami, freaking Nami beats the guy. It didn't even take anything, we got the Drake. I accept losing in Hibs, it, you don't... You don't see the point, you really are there. We are winning hard in rest, so we play around that. I'm going for the actual Rapidons, and we're doing great there. Once I get it, uh, me and Ezreal we're going to be quite unstoppable because we won't let the Renekton to actually come. There is also a Nami and the Viego. Nami is great at peeling, so we can actually turn around this even they, if the Irelia goes a bit on the inting side because it really can still drop an R there and slow them so that she can still be sort of useful problem is I think they die the... we want to see Baron and Drake and we want to defend our base and if Nami died there that's a problem if we don't get anything oh I see the problem Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yep, that's amazing. We win that, so I go top. I don't have flash. Uh, you're in trouble. Oh, well, we should win that. Okay. I might have to back off from here. I just keep the range, right? I don't go closer because he has no way of gap closing. We win there, as you can see. Team goes great. And... Oh boy. Well, the Renekton, on the other hand, is running it, which is great for us. I want to bait the pike, I wanted to bait the pike Q so that I could fully combo him. I wanted also the kill onto the Renekton, but I suppose we work with what we have. Also, Viego got into the game, he's ahead, he's the same level, I'm higher level than Vlad. Ezreal is insanely ahead, if you see his farm, his assist, his kills, Nami the same. Practically, we will free win it if the Irelia doesn't tint. We get that, they are done. If we kill again the Renekton, yeah, he's, he's trolling at this point. Yep, he does not know exactly what to do with the lead that he himself garnered, so we just abused that. He didn't take any hips, that's bad on us. Ezreal is also, as you can see, quite insane. I would jump into that, but I do not see the Echo. The Echo is the only one who can actually murder me, so we are playing like he can also one-shot me at a single point in time. I don't know why I'm going like this, because, uh, well, we can, we can go. We can go, we can go, we should, we should go and fight, because they are all there. Cast hold. Got one. Didn't got the second one, but then the Viego we got should get him. Okay, become Samira. And you can also kill the Vlad. Yep. That's as easy as it gets. This is a free win from this point because we actually did the game tactic. We played tactically. We didn't go into the Irelia mentality of just running it. We played according to our strengths. I think Israel might be dead. Nope. So you should be careful here and we should go absolutely there. S5. I also got the orb because they have like four, five. All of them actually heal pretty well, besides maybe this Amira which has only Kong. But still, this will give uh, not that lifesteal. They have lifesteal. The rest of them, Renekton has ult, for example. I'm gonna get that so that I can keep the fight going. I did not get that. We win this. We 
ruin this if you play careful. Because Pike cannot. Oh boy, I tilted. I so trolled with that one. But please kill her. Why didn't you dash onto her? He should have. We would have instantly killed her and then it would have been fine. We would have got... I don't know the Drake because Vlad was also coming, but that would have been worth a try. Oh, he also had heal. Man! Well, this is horrible for them. I would keep fighting here. Heal up. Back off. See? Well... Baron is free, actually. I'm coming to... Yep, 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 if you get that, it's done. They lost the game, right here. If you get that... Okay, turn to Baron, turn to Baron, turn to Baron, turn to Baron. Three, go. We have time, that's the thing. Or I will one-shot someone. Yeah, it's too late, I think. Yeah, that's a good argument. Okay, he went into all of us. He died. I flashed that? Oh, I still have the hem on me. X. Oh, we have the Viego alive, never mind, we won. Nice. Go after him. Is he invisible into that? Because that would be broken, man. Go, fight him. Uh, why don't you just fight him? You win. You should win, I guess. No, apparently not. Well, I'm a bit tired and so am I trolling at some points. But generally I did fine. Mm, if we just play now the game and do front to backs, we should be okay. I If Diego dies there... Uh, coming, never mind. I want that. Please, 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 please don't take the cannon. Thank God. Don't deserve it, man. Just pass the gold to your carries if you're going 0 20. So, I'm still ahead in level fa facing the Vlad. That's all what it means. That's all what it matters, really. I'm first with Renekton and Echo. First in levels. If I get a stopwatch, I would actually live a bit more. But I also need the anti magic resistingy. I think I can kill him if I get the full combo down here. Wait. Ah, he backed off. Could have been good. What you see me doing is farming and then backing off vigorously because in higher heroes, if they spot you like this, they can just chase you down. Like the pike immediately moves towards you, the echo immediately moves towards you, although he was dead, or teleports might arise that cause problems. So at this point I'm going for this, I'm gonna ping for them to be careful. Gonna head towards bot, and gonna keep my ult to play the side lane. Uh, practically match the Vladimir teleport onto the top side, if he is there. Apparently not. Oh! We could force a Baron. Start it. Don't do it. If they come, turn. Pike is low HP. They don't have any vision, man. We should definitely start it. Okay, they. We probably missed a word somewhere. Okay. No, no, no. We should fight. We should fight here. Okay, I missed that. I don't think Renekton sees the pit. Okay. If we kill the Renekton there, then there is an opening towards that. 
Yep, and we get free kills. Yep, get that. So what you gonna do, buddy? Where are you? Where are you? Reveal yourself. This is a free win at this point. And then going towards the other side of the map. So that they don't have time to actually do much. Oh, look. Leave me alone, Pike. He could probably steal it. He could probably steal it if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna move and block the queue. Ah, that's fine. You're gonna need some auto attacks here if you can, I don't have mana. Thank you. Hey, come to me. Ooh, that's great! So, we are actually hard winning now. And I don't think they have any chance at coming back into the game because we focused properly front to back. Uh, Israel got to the point where he is quite invincible. Their bot lane is trolling, so the pike was low HP when the fight started. And. Oh no. Oh. Nami Michaels him. Oh no, this is where the stopwatch would have been handy. I'm dead to the Hemoplag again. But the fight is in our favor massively, to be honest. Israel is positioned wonderfully. And for some reason, their echo altered before. Oh god, what the freaking moly damage. Attack! <laughs> I thought, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That scared me. Okay. I guess we won this. That's that's the game, guys. I don't think it's possible for us to lose, considering our scaling champ scaled our Nami. is doing what a Nami does against the Pike that's behind and the Samira that's behind, so very good peel. Echo couldn't be present. And I just hold the game enough in the early game, as I should, as you should, as when playing Talia. Hold. Either scale massively yourself by being very fed, as I was early, but then I inted a bit. Or, as you can see, put some kills, help your teammates, help the Viego grow up to the extreme Viego Bursty champ. Insane late game that he is. And you will freely win it. You, sh you should understand the strengths. You you've seen Irelia, she did not understand the strengths. All she had to do, so that the game is easy for us, all she had to do was stop fighting the Renekton from the get-go. She plays with Ignite. He plays with uh, actual with actual uh, teleports, and he still he still lost the Aurelia. So it's obvious who knows the matchups better there. So you just should stop when you see yourself in the weak side, in the inting side, or even if you get camped, stop it. Okay, I'm getting. Okay, just a scare by the pike. I want a blue buff. The Renekton is desperate at this point, it's pretty tilted. So, I get him. Nope. I don't have mana. Did you like that? Did you like that? Please tell me you like that. I don't have mana. Thank you. Small queue till I have 90 mana, which will never probably happen. I don't have mana for you. Can't help you. See, this is the downside of actually playing with the rune with the time or 20 futures market. If the mid laner doesn't, if the jungler doesn't pass you the blue, you can run into some issues. And as you can see now, we got the inhib, but that's bad for us because we have only one. Only now, when we get the second one, it will be actually be good because this is free gold for them. They have the clear, the wave cleared for that. Now we have two inhibs. That's enabling us to get this kind of pops. I'm confused. I'm really confused about the pike. Their bot lane certainly wasn't guided as our bot lane was. 
so you can see you can see how bad that is for them we can even end we actually profited out of their bot lane and their mid lane even though they were, were technically the mid laner actually played pretty good in their side he wasn't uh, efficient enough in killing me or stopping me from roaming and that's one of the costs when playing vlad but he wasn't exactly the best vlad a, a good vlad would just sit mid and try to kill you on and on because he will actually be ahead of you in levels if he just sits mid and farms and kills you if or two versus two two versus two teleport i don't think that's good so that was the game it was pretty messy early on but we found solutions and that's what it matters we taught really how to play the game we taught her when to stop how to stop what to do and it went eventually fine we tried not to flame we had a good attitude and we eventually won that's the guide guys see you next time i hope i will make a video on jungle as well and soon on the updated buffs of the lia on the updated to lia playstyle we will go there too See you next time, guys. Goodbye.